Hey guys, this is pretty cool. Normally when I do TV reviews, I have to bring them up to my lab, but in this case, Vizio rolled the new TVs right to the front of my lab themselves. This is a 45-foot bus chock full of the latest televisions. It weighs 54,000 pounds. There's a lot of new technology in here. I can't wait to check it out. Let's go. This is amazing. They have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine televisions here, if I'm counting correctly. These are all the new 2023 televisions from Vizio. So I'm going to start here with the D-series. This is the entry-level 1080p resolution televisions. We have a 32, 24-inch size. You can see these are going to be their least expensive televisions, under $200. They still have full smart TV. New for this year, they're adding the ability to use the voice remote. So you can call up with your voice, uh, launch apps, do some commands on the television with the voice, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the smart cast system that Vizio has been using for the last few years. Not my favorite, but they have made a couple tweaks. For example, this year they're adding the HDMI input uh, part selection uh, among the normal line of apps here at the bottom, so that's pretty cool. But let's talk about some TVs that are actually 4K. Stepping up from the D-Series, this is the first 4K entry-level line for 2023 with Vizio. Just like last year, it's called the V-Series. This guy's available from 43 up to 75 inches. Now, the step-ups here, obviously, in addition to the 4K resolution, are the fact that this has Wi-Fi 6E, so one of the few TVs out there that adds that extra bandwidth if you have a Wi-Fi 6E router, which helps out with all the congestion around the home these days. This television also has a slimmer design. Vizio is talking about design a little bit more this year, trying to make the edge of the panel thinner, more of an all picture look, something I approve. Of course, this TV is a 60 hertz standard picture quality features in addition to that 4K resolution, although it does accept Dolby Vision, so that's one of the new step ups on this television. So that's it for the entry level TVs. Let's see what you get if you spend a little bit more money. Right here is Vizio's M Quantum 6 series television. Again, a 65 inch size. I mean, we're on a bus. They told me they can't really get the 75s and really large TVs into here, but 65 is pretty big. I'm actually pretty surprised. It feels really roomy in here. Anyway, this is the M Quantum 6. The step up between the V series and the M series is Quantum Dots. That gives you improved color with HDR. Vizio is claiming up to 75% of Rec 2020. Now, unlike some of the other step up M series we'll look at in a little bit, this TV does not have full array local dimming. This is a standard panel. So again, it's gonna be a little bit less expensive than those other M series TVs. So that M series Quantum 6 is available in 43 up to 75 inch sizes. Vizio is also selling another M series in 2023. This year they're calling it the Quantum X. So right back here, the difference between the Quantum X and the Quantum 6 is full array local dimming on the Quantum X. Vizio says that the Quantum X is very similar to their P series from last year. They're not announcing a new P series right now for 2023. So this has a lot of the picture quality according to Vizio's claims of the P-Series from last year. One of the differences is the P-Series had a lot more local dimming zones. So this is the 65-inch Quantum X. This has 32 zones of local dimming. Now to refresh your memory, full array local dimming is one of the picture quality features that I value most on televisions. Vizio has done a really good job in the past of bringing that picture quality down to an affordable price point. They are claiming 1,000 nits. This thing has all the bells and whistles you'd expect. 4K 120 hertz inputs for gaming. That's a big deal. And again, this is the kind of thing that you know, you'd expect on a higher end television, but Vizio is kind of trickling that down. So 4K 120 in is a big difference between the step down Vizio televisions. It also has variable refresh rate, VRR, AMD Sync Premium. So this is another kind of feature that allows VRR 4K 120 in these televisions that should really appeal to gamers. Now, speaking of gaming, this is 65 inch size. Vizio says that the 50 inch has a a little bit of special sauce. Again, same series, local dimming, the whole thing, but this is the 50 inch size. It's got a gaming demo going on right here because this TV is actually one of the only that I've heard of that can do 1080p 240 hertz refresh. So that means it's even smoother when you have a PC connected with a high-end video card that allow you to take advantage of that input. 
So that's it for the TVs on the bus, but Vizio is also introducing a new soundbar here. This is the uh, successor to the Elevate soundbar that we really like. They're calling this the M Series Elevate soundbar. It's a Dolby Atmos soundbar, which is really cool. And just like its predecessor, there's little speakers that pop out on the side and actually shoot up those Atmos sound effects up to the ceiling and around your room. We really like the sound of the P Series. Can't wait to hear what the M Series Elevate soundbar sounds like. So again, this is coming out a little bit before the televisions, but an excellent soundbar potentially given what we liked with its previous model. All right, so that's a look at some of Vizio's 2023 televisions. I mean, I gotta say, in the past, Vizio has been one of the best performing televisions for the money. We really like what they did last year. Excited to check out these televisions where I can get them off the bus and into the lab for a review, but just in general, this is really cool. I've never been on a bus with a bunch of televisions before. Hope some other manufacturers might follow Vizio's lead here, bring this right to our doorstep and uh, you know give us the full treatment. I feel like I'm ready to go on tour now uh, with this bus. But anyway, that's Vizio's bus full of 2023 televisions. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.